YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. Welcome to my review for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue 116. So this was probably my favorite issue in a while. I have been generally enjoying this storyline quite a bit. I've, you know, said a lot of the same repeated things about loving how they brought in all the same mythology. Not the same mythology, but they've made use of a lot of the mythology that's been introduced. And I just really have been enjoying it. But one thing I have noticed, too, is that each issue didn't necessarily feel like its own thing, which isn't always going to happen when you have a continuous storyline. But a lot of the recent issues have felt like it's like a graphic novel and you ripped out like 10 pages or whatever and that was what you were reading. Whereas this one actually, while continuing the story and feeling like a part of the whole, felt like its own distinct issue with its own identity because obviously it was distinctly focused on Draken and Ranger Slayer and something very specific happening. I do have some mixed feelings on some of the content of it, but I really did enjoy the issue and having something a little bit more character driven and focused. You did have a little bit of stuff going on with the other Rangers and the other stuff going on with the villains, kind of just like flashing over to that, but it was pretty minor. Like with the Rangers, it was primarily them being transported out of this situation and with the villains it was a little bit more of Dark Spectre treating Rita terribly and then her showing him that like he is eventually going to become this portal. Bia like blows up the portal that Draken went through and he's like how dare you fail me by letting that be blown up. That's how Dark Spectre sounds so threatening. He sounds like a prospector. I am Dark Spectre. He says but oh my lord you have the staff and that's the power. I'm like penis metaphor. Showing him that like I guess the further he becomes corrupt in the grid he can become a portal that can enter and exit the grid like with the arches at will. So that was a little bit of stuff going on. I think that was obviously meant to further the overall plot but also draw a little bit of a parallel to the relationships between like Draken and Rita and Dark Spectre and like all the people that they forced to work for them because that's the core focus of the episode. While that, or the episode, I'm so used to saying that. All that stuff's going on, that brief stuff, the main focus is Draken having entered the grid, and as we saw, he was followed by corrupt Ranger Slayer, and they do a flashback showcasing them pre-shattered grid, and showcasing a little bit of that relationship, which made me realize that I'm surprised they never did more with drawing the parallel between, you know, Draken and Ranger Slayer and Rita and Tommy, in terms of, like, he effectively did to her what was done to him in regards to putting him under a spell. That's interesting, and I'm just surprised they didn't do more with that, but it was kind of meant to show, I guess, you know, Draken's affection for Ranger Slayer, that he always kind of loved her kind of like Prime Tommy did, but obviously in a more screwed up way since he then put her under a spell to work for him. And I guess showing that he had regret by not making it her choice. In this issue, it kind of frames it more like, at least in my opinion, what I got from it, that he regretted not giving her a choice because he loves her. I honestly thought it would have been stronger and, and maybe I missed it. There, I only read the issue once, so maybe there was some subtleties I missed, but I think it would have made sense. Like obviously from that perspective, like yeah, he regretted, you know, doing that to her because he loved her, but also because that was what was done to him and he was given a choice, which is why he was brought to this like location, the grid manifested this location where he was given a choice. Maybe that was meant to be part of it and I just went over my head. But it was meant to show that he regretted not giving her free will, effectively, as they're fighting. And then when they're fighting, they both fire off, like he, sh he fires the dragon dagger at her, and she fires, I think it was like a bow at him, and they hit each other at the same time. He hits her, it like frees her from the current control of Dark Spectre, and then when she hits him, I guess he's supposed to be dead. And he gives her the, the coin, the Draken coin. This was something interesting. A point they've made in one of the other stories going on with Tommy being kidnapped is that the White Ranger coin can't be corrupted because Reed is wanting to corrupt him again. And obviously the Draken coin is part White Ranger coin, so it can't be corrupted. And that was actually very interesting. He draws attention to that. It's also an interesting development. Like, I was really intrigued by this. I, even though I had some mixed feelings on some of the stuff going on, like I said, I appreciated the character focus, and it had some pretty interesting plot implications in regards to what's going to be going on forward. If this is the end of Draken, it does feel like a small bit of redemption, which, but it's not like it's a big level redemption where he sacrificed himself and had a big heroic mo uh, move. And I've never wanted a Draken redemption of any kind, which is why I have some slight mixed feelings if this is more of a redemptive note. Just because... Tommy is the, rede the redemption story. The whole purpose of Draken is to have a permanent evil Tommy. But at the same time, I also like that they, they didn't make him just a mustache twirly evil Tommy, evil Green Ranger laugh villain. Like, they've given him complexities. I just I had mixed feelings about the way they handled this. Like, it makes sense that he would have mixed feelings about Ranger Slayer in terms of his feelings for her and what was done to him. But it also feels like it's coming out of nowhere in this. In a way, I feel like that hasn't been touched on a lot, so it just seems kind of random. And I kind of preferred the way they humanized him in the end of Shattered Grid, where they framed it more about his insecurity about latching onto people and his regret over not taking the hand of the Rangers. Like, that wasn't his sole reason, but I don't know. I found that to be a little bit more tangible. But my point is, is that I think this was well done, but I also feel it was in part out of nowhere and there could have been more build to it. 
and I have just mixed feelings about a slight redemption for Draken, like I said. Uh, I do think this is interesting going forward, though, for a couple reasons, like what her having the Draken coin is going to mean. Is she going to become the new Draken Ranger? Which, I don't mind that idea. I'm actually, like, that's kind of cool. I'm actually thinking that's kind of cool. But she does, she hasn't even gotten to be the, the new Draken Pink Ranger for very long. Like, she transformed into the new costume for, like, one second before she became the corrupt version. Speaking of, the corrupt version of her suit is one of the coolest ones. Like, we're getting to see a lot more of those corrupt designs, and man, those are really great designs. I really wish we were still getting Lightning Collection, and those designs were on the table for the Lightning Collection. But anyway, I'm curious to see, like, if that means she'll transform into this, or what role that's going to play, and if Draken will stay dead. I have a bad feeling he won't. It's not like I'm one of those sick of Draken people. Like, I hate the comics, they're fan fiction, it's all Tommy. I'm not one of those people. I do enjoy Draken still. I feel like we still go back to the well a little bit too much, and we visit him sooner than I would have liked, but I've mostly enjoyed all his stories. So I'm not one of those people that is so sick of Draken that if he continues on after this, I'll be upset because I'm sure they'll still be good stories. We had the fake out with regular Tommy, and we've had other fake outs before. With regular Tommy, it made sense. After Shattered Grid, I fully didn't expect them to keep regular Tommy dead, especially since they still try to follow key bullet points of what the show universe did, and you can't do that without regular Tommy. Can't have a bona fide Halloween without Jamie Lee! With this, you know, and it's a comic, and it's a comic, and you know, if, you, if you've read comics or even done research or are aware of comics, they constantly kill off and bring back characters. The idea of him being resurrected or it being a fake out isn't outside of the realm of possibility, but I think it would be more impactful in this case if they actually made it stick at least for a while. A bad feeling that they probably won't, but in the context of this, I hope this is permanent for a while, and then even though I'm like, very certain they'll eventually bring him back. I think it would be great, even if it's not like the most dramatic big death, if they let him be dead here, keep it here, and then whatever you do next, take a beat. Wait a while before you bring him back in a big event. Make this feel earned and meaningful. Let the character rest. You know, I'm not opposed to more dragon stories, but I think that it, it's time to give him a little bit of a break, and then when he does come back, it'll be fresh and new. Regardless, I do have some mixed feelings about some things, both in terms of what's happening now and going forward, but I overall did really enjoy this more character-driven issue, and I still am really enjoying this arc. I want to know what you guys thought in the comments. Do you think Drac is permanent? Drac? <laughs> Yeah, I know him so well, I call him Drac. Do you think Draken is permanently dead, or do you want to see him take a rest, or do you want to see him come back immediately? Let me know in the comments as always. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps, and ring that bell. See you get notifications for my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.